Has someone told you to take vitamin B12 for brain fog after bariatric surgery? B12 helps to keep your brain healthy and even helps to prevent Alzheimer's disease as you age. Stick around, find out how and what you need to know. How many bariatric vitamins do you take a day? Are they a pain to remember? ProCare Health offers easy and affordable solutions with once daily multivitamins. Visit ProCareNow.com for free samples. Use code SUSAN10 to save 10%. Hi, I'm registered dietitian nutritionist, Dr. Susan Mitchell. You're listening to the Bariatric Surgery Success Podcast, episode number 66. Most of my career, I've worked in some type of media, radio, television, and I actually did morning drive nutrition spots on radio over 18 years. That was so much fun, and it really gave me the bug to start podcasting. Ultimately, it led me to you. I created Bariatric Surgery Success so that you would have life-changing information based on science with simple strategies and tools to help you be successful in your transformation and along your entire journey. So happy you've connected with me. You're in the right place. I'm glad you're listening. I want to give a shout out to Brittany who posted in the Facebook group, I love your podcast. Well, Brittany, I love you right back for taking time to say so and to share with the group. If you want to join us in the Facebook group, please do. It's an active group where you can find answers, you can find support day to day, or you know what? You can just vent if you need to. There's a lot to deal with after surgery, right? So on Facebook, just search the groups for bariatric surgery success with dietitian Dr. Susan Mitchell and ask to join. Okay, going back to the question, has someone told you to take vitamin B12 for brain fog after bariatric surgery? First, let's take a broad look at the brain, then vitamin B12 and its tie to your brain, and finally bring it home to bariatric surgery. Your brain has a lot of demands. It needs both calories and nutrients, vitamins and minerals. Don't miss this fact. Are you ready? The brain uses 20% of your calories. Did you have any idea it was that high? B vitamins, folate, zinc, and other vitamins and minerals all join in to keep the brain healthy. A deficiency of these can cause depression type symptoms and poor memory, problems with attention, learning, fatigue, mood and appetite, or what just feels like brain fog or brain impairment. This is one of the big reasons that follow-up lab work after your surgery is so very important. If you listen to some of the other podcasts, you know I talk a lot about vitamins and minerals working together as a team, and, and that's the case here. B vitamins, folate, zinc, and other vitamins and minerals like thiamine all work like an effective basketball team in your brain. Deficiencies in these or even too few carbs can all cause brain fog. But today, the focus is on your brain and B12, which is also known as cobalamin. So you may see that name sometimes. A B12 deficiency after weight loss surgery is very common. But did you know that B12 deficiency increases with age too? This happens for a couple of reasons. Often as you get older, you tend to eat less, which decreases the amount of B12 in your diet. And then up to a third of people who are 50 plus don't absorb B12 from their food because they don't produce enough stomach acid. And this is the same thing really that's happening after bariatric surgery, but for a different reason. You've had surgical changes which affect absorption. Less B12 is released in the stomach as much of the stomach is bypassed or removed. Add age to this picture and a low vitamin B12 blood level is tied to what feels like brain fog. And it could also be tied down the road to dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. Okay, maybe you've heard the word homocysteine. A high homocysteine level, it's not something you want. It's an amino acid in the blood and elevated levels have been linked to dementia heart disease, stroke. The good news is that this homocysteine level that can be checked by lab work, by the way, can be lowered with the B vitamins, B6, B12, 
B12 and folic acid, which all seem to slow down the loss of brain power. Okay, let's review today our science and science one on one uh, and science 101 on vitamin B12 specific to bariatric surgery. So the absorption of B12 can be affected due to changes in acid production and reduced availability of what's called the intrinsic factor. Well, this intrinsic factor helps B12 to be absorbed and used by the body. So if it's not there or it's insufficient, the B12 doesn't get absorbed and then used as it should. So then what happens? You could experience brain fog symptoms and feel like your coordination is off, uh, plus things like numbness or tingling of your arms and legs. Again, going back, this is a, a prime reason why routine screenings, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, are so important and typically done every six months or so, especially right after surgery. So these screenings help your healthcare provider pick up on a possible deficiency before it becomes a problem. Okay, two other tips to keep in mind. First, are you taking protein pump inhibitors known as PPIs? These are things like Prilosec or Nexium or Prevacid. Well, these meds, uh, or the generic versions, these meds reduce stomach acid. And remember, stomach acid is, does what? Necessary to absorb B12. Even meds like Zantac or Pepsid can increase the risk for B12 deficiency. So something to ask yourself and keep in mind. Number two, what about alcohol? I'm not talking rubbing alcohol, I'm talking about the type you drink. It inhibits the absorption of B vitamins such as B12 and thiamine. Even without alcohol in the picture, you may already struggle just to get enough of these vitamins due to surgery. So if you're adding alcohol back, be aware of that. In fact, you can go back and listen to podcast number 30 on bariatric surgery and alcohol buzz. There's a lot more in-depth information. Uh, you can find it on your favorite podcatcher like Apple Podcasts, wherever you're listening now. It's always on the website, breakingdownnutrition.com. Anytime you want to go back to some of the others. As a reminder, do you recall what foods contain B12? Okay, B12 is in protein foods like meat and eggs, cheese, fish, chicken, milk, and fortified products like fortified breakfast cereals, meaning it was added to the cereal. You want all of these in your diet, but the amount that you need after surgery is higher than what you can typically get through your food. That's why food is great, but you're going to need supplementation on top of that. Okay, so bringing it home even more specifically, how much B12 do you need then after surgery for your body, for all the processes, and to prevent this brain fog? The dose is 250 to 500 micrograms. You'll see a little UG on the label. That's a day. Uh, most suggestions will range in the 350 to 500 microgram range daily. Sometimes it's 1,000 micrograms every other day. The dose depends on your surgery, on your lab results, and the route of administration. That means, is it under the tongue? Is it an injection? How are you taking it? Because sometimes an intramuscular injection of B12 or a nasal spray will be ordered by your healthcare team. By the way, you can take B12 at any time or with any other supplements, and that's not always the case. So it's likely that your multi, if it's bariatric specific, will have enough B12 in it. So check the label before you buy additional, and then be sure and discuss your lab screenings with your healthcare team before you decide the supplement to buy or if you need any additional. So P.S. Remember, check the supplement facts on a number of products to see what you like best. And you know that I've shared before, I'm a fan of and partner with ProCare Health. So I'll put their link in the show notes. Recap and remember, so important for you. Your lab work, always get that very good insight into what's going on with B12, especially if you're feeling like you've got brain fog. Remember the food sources, your animal products, your meat, your eggs, your fish, but also fortified items like cereal. Remember we said though that 
Usually you cannot get enough from food to prevent the deficiencies after surgery and prevent the brain fog. So you're going to need supplementation and typically need it lifelong. So make decisions that work for you. Take care of yourself. Be good to you. You're worth it. Bariatric Surgery Success with Dietitian Dr. Susan Mitchell is produced and owned by Practicalories, LLC. All rights reserved. Remember, the content provided on this podcast is for information purposes only and doesn't create a patient-provider relationship. It's intended to provide reference material and is not designed to provide medical advice. Please consult your health care provider regarding any medical issues you have relating to symptoms, conditions, diseases, diagnosis, treatments, and side effects. Podcast guests express their own opinions, experience, and conclusions, which do not necessarily reflect or agree with the host, Dr. Susan Mitchell, or Practicalories, LLC.